Hey guys, welcome to Quick Tips, where every Friday I give you straight to the point tips for your film and photography projects. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about Sony picture profiles, or at least the lack of picture profiles. Now, if you get confused about Sony picture profiles like S-Log2, S-Log3, or even all the HLG picture profiles, you're not alone, they're confusing. You gotta film them in a certain way, you gotta color grade them in a certain way, and, and frankly, that's just a lot of work. And so recently, I've actually been shooting without any picture profiles at all, and I have been absolutely loving it. I mean, just take a look at this shot. So I'm just gonna show you my settings so that you can capture great looking video straight from your Sony camera. First, go to your menu and turn off picture profile. Next, select creative style, and we're gonna go down and find portrait. Here is where the magic happens, where we get to customize this style. For contrast, increase it to plus two. For saturation, reduce it by negative three. And lastly, for sharpness, reduce it by negative three. And that's it. And now let's go ahead and show you some footage. Now keep in mind, with these settings, your colors are baked into the footage. You're not gonna get that dynamic range that you would from S-Log2, S-Log3, or even HLG footage. And so just watch your footage and make sure to expose properly. If anything, you might wanna underexpose just a little bit. Now in order to view your footage right in camera, just make sure that your metering mode is set to multi and that your monitor brightness is set to plus one and your viewfinder brightness is set to plus one as well. Now let's bring that footage into Premiere Pro and see what it looks like. And boom ka -chow, everything looks great. And if you wanted to do a bit of tweaking, all you have to do is mess around the basic correction panel. And most times I just mess around with the highlights, the shadows, and the white levels. No need to mess around with S-curves or color wheels if you don't want to. Minimum color grading at its finest. You just saved a bunch of time in post-production so that you can make more videos and eat more donuts. I don't know, you do you. Well, that's it for today's video. And if you have any suggestions for future quick tip episodes, then let me know in the comments below and I will feature your suggestion in the next video. But I am out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day, have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.